everyone can gather around us, we're gonna start uh, here today. Um, my name is Erin, I'm the grapevine curator here, and uh, we're here to show you our apples and grapes today. We're having our annual field day for apple and grapes. This is just to showcase our diversity collections here. Um, we've got tons and tons of accessions, many acres of grapes and apples, and this is an opportunity for the public to learn why we have these collections and what our aims are here at the USDA. Building into making new varieties that you see, and I do have some varieties that were produced here in New York State. Is it just to have like a library so that you have one of everything? Or is there any scientific importance to having lots of these fruit trees and grape uh, grapevines? Yeah, so I would say a little bit of both. Part of the collection is to preserve this germplasm, which are unique genetics. So we want to have as many options as possible from the wild, from domesticated um, cultivars, just so that we have um, preserved what's available currently. But we also want to be able to characterize and learn scientifically more about these accessions. And so we do work to help the scientific community and also breeders find new potential breeding stock for improving the grape and apple cultivars on the market. So the, the fruit that we're passing around now is from a cultivar meant to be a rootstock, but it's, it's, it's quality is a little bit of a recovery from this macrocarpa. <laughs> Do you come out here often to just taste things and have a good time? Oh, absolutely. It's um, hard not to just come out here. It's not very far away from our research unit. So when the weather is beautiful and the fruit's ripe, it's like you could come taste for hours if you wanted. The apple collection here is actually the biggest germplasm collection in the world. Um, and so it's really amazing that we have this opportunity here in Geneva, New York to look at all of these accessions. Um, I think specifically the most important thing is that plants and apples and grapes are more than what you're seeing in a grocery store. The grocery store is really a really curated final product, but in order to get to that point, these collections are really important to um, find new opportunities for better improving those things that are available to the consumer.